How's it going, my fellow captains? I got some breaking news for you. Now, the US President Donald Trump is set to sign a new bill which will grant more rights to the US government and consumers in the aviation industry. Now, this bill was approved with a 93 to 6 vote in the Senate, and I'll be covering the main points in this video. Firstly, there's now an official minimum seat pitch. The FAA is going to issue regulations that set the minimum seat pitch, the width and the length. There's no exact number on this minimum pitch at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see whether American Airlines will have to replace their 29-inch 737-800 cabin as one of my Discord users has suggested. Next, drones are now allowed to deliver US packages in the US. Now this is a big leap for Amazon Air, who are aiming to deliver packages within minutes of an order. This law also gives the government power to shoot down any drones if they deem it to be a threat. However, United and American Airlines are pleased to hear that the baggage fee regulations have not been placed after intense lobbying by them. Now, in fairness to the airlines, it would have meant a loss in their profits. And if you order your bag correctly, then there's no fee to pay anyway. Now, this bill also requires airlines to refund passengers for services that they paid for but they didn't receive. It will also enshrine in law a prohibition on passengers making phone calls while in flight or using e-cigarettes. It will also require airlines to check passengers to check strollers for small children and gives the FAA authority to require airlines to allow pregnant women to board earlier on. Now, perhaps most importantly, airlines are not allowed to kick seated passengers off overbooked flights. Now, you can still be seated at the boarding gate, but once you're sitting down, you're relatively safe. Now, if an airline really needs that particular seat that you have, then they'll start offering you money. Now here's a tip, just wait until the offer gets really high and take the $2,000 that they give you for missing your flight from Atlanta to Houston for example. So guys, these are the main points mentioned in the bill and I have to say it's very interesting. Aviation is going to change as we go forward, for better or for worse, well that remains to be seen. But there's no doubt about it that Trump is having a massive effect on the overall industry in the US and perhaps even worldwide. Now captains, share your thoughts and opinions on this, I'm curious to read what you guys have to say about it. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.